everybody, welcome to diorama update number 83. Today we're going to be going over the Battle of Tarwa diorama that I'm working on, as well as a quick little overview of the local hobby town show I went to this weekend. But we're going to roll straight into that real quick. <clears throat> so during the show, I entered three dioramas, the North Africa campaign build, as well as my most recently finished STRV diorama, and then the HIDF brief defense and uh, came out that the North Africa campaign build won best of class for dioramas, which is really neat. So uh, it's really cool. I'm glad that my work uh, is up to par in that area, but it was really cool getting to see people enjoy the work I do and getting to show off what I do, kind of share some tips and tricks and get some stuff from other people as well. But while it's at the show, waiting for judging to happen, I went down to Half Price Books and picked up this American Tanks and Armored Fighting Vehicles of World War II by Michael Green. Looked through it, read through it a bit. Really nice little book. And uh, it's going to be great for the podcast as well as referencing for dioramas. But beyond that, we're going to push straight into the Pacific diorama. And this is what I've got so far. So this is, if you've seen the layout I had beforehand on Instagram or the Discord, then you know it's vastly different than what I had. Now, I won't be able to work on it throughout the week until Thursday night, so this is kind of the stopping point I'm gonna leave it at. But I'm very happy with the layout. I'll show you a picture now of what it was beforehand if you haven't seen it. As you can see, the layout's kind of similar, but I switched it around a bit, moved the bunker, added more terrain, uh, made the trench, and in my opinion, it just looks way better. But yeah, so pretty much from that, I went in, I was looking at more pictures and whatnot of Tarwa, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to revamp this. And this is what I came up with, and I'm super happy with it. I'm going to have five palm trees. The stick is just in place for a palm tree coming in the mill. And basically, it's day two of the Battle of Tarwa. It's going to be the China Gale Sherman tank pushing through with Marine Corps infantry, pushing up past, I think it's Green Beach, and pushing down towards the airfield. And uh, yeah, really excited for this. Uh, it's the same size as the SCRV diorama base wise, but uh, very different layout. So kind of going through this real quick, I've got all the figures built and whatnot. So we have a Japanese little pillbox here, machine gun pillbox, that'll be covered with sand and foliage. Palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree. I'm gonna have tracks where the little lines are, got a blast crater from a mortar, got some terrain along places, mortar blast. Got uh, this Marine right here yelling back that the uh, Japanese are attacking the current line or the advance. He had these Marines right here uh, using his bayonet to attack this Japanese officer with the sword. Got this Marine right here who is reloading his M1 Grand. Don't know if you can see that or not. And is trying to counter this Japanese with uh, his bayonet charging. Blast crater in the back. Got some anti-tank stops that the Japanese used on Tarwa. Kind of closer to the beachheads, so that's why I utilize those. Uh, you got this Marine here who is in the process of being shot. Let's see how well you can see his face. Yeah, not a very happy look. And he's being hit by this Japanese soldier right here, who is currently re-racking his Arasaka rifle. So he's got the bolt pulled back and there's a round extracting from the chamber, which I thought was a really nice detail to add to this diorama. So, and then next to him, he's got his buddy who has just noticed the Marine coming out of the Japanese bunker that he had just cleared. They threw a frag in or something to uh, clear out the enemy. And he went in to do dead checks, ensure that no Japanese would counterattack from the rear as they push forward. Got the opening into the diorama to showcase like the trench keeps going. Got a blast crater right here on part of the base. Um, sorry, something just hit my window. Blast crater partial on the base there. And then, uh, yeah, that's really it. And obviously the Sherman sitting there waiting for, I don't know, like engineers or something to come up and blow these tank stops. But 
kind of go through this uh, Sherman with you guys real quick. This is a Dragon M4A2 Tarwa Sherman. And it's still got a lot of work to do on it, uh, but I'm very happy with how the kits turned out. It's been great, very enjoyable to build. Unfortunately, oh, like it came with some resin accessories. And uh, unfortunately, one of mine broke. I took 15 minutes to get the front light post cover off of the little screw it came on. And right as I was getting the last bit off, I had my hand kind of cupped around it to keep it in place. And it hit my hand and bounced off somewhere. And I searched for like an hour and a half last night. I'm not even kidding. Um, I just could not find it. So that's gone forever. So I went with the plastic guards. But it came with a metal barrel, some photo etch stuff, some nice resin stuff. I've got the running gear all fixed and set to go. I gotta do the tracks. But it was really cool doing like all these bolts in the back with the, uh, the came with re resin photo etch bolts and whatnot. Uh, but that was cool. I got a guitar string I'll use for the uh, Intei here. And uh, Marines didn't really put 30s or 50s on the top of their turrets because the Japanese would run up and utilize them. So it's gonna be pretty bare bones, Sherman. I would like to make the, uh, I call it the waiting vent on the bottom that comes out, kind of like curves out the bottom. So you can attach like a waiting kit or some shit. Uh, I would like to scratch build that, but we'll see if that's even doable. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't think I'll have any stowage. I might do like a tarp on the back of the turret because uh, all the Shermans on Tarwa, uh, that were pictured, I believe, were all like destroyed before they're destroyed, and there are no existing pictures of China Gale. But I wanted to do China Gale because of the tremendous impact this tank had on the battle. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I've kind of been up to. Um, the game plan right now is to finish the Tarwa diorama, which will be obviously a few weeks, and then I would like to either move straight into this M5A1 or I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the Ukraine diorama again because I've got two shows in October. Uh, one in Lebanon with Kansas on, I believe it's the 5th of October, and then one here in Wichita, an IPMS show here in Wichita on the, I believe it's the 19th of October. So um, hopefully I can get this thing built and take it to both, uh, but yeah. Anyways guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you'd like to watch the progress on this diorama or more, go down to the description below. I've got a link to my Instagram account as well as the Discord that I'm a part of for the Micro Machines podcast. If you'd like to listen to our podcast, come hang out with a bunch of other modelers from around the world and see what I'm doing on Instagram. Go give us some follows, go interact with the community. We'd love to have it. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.